Good morning, everybody. I've uh, just met with Donald Tusk, the President of the European Council, where I agreed an extension to the Brexit process to the end of October at the latest. I continue to believe we need to leave the EU with a deal as soon as possible. And vitally, the EU have agreed that the extension can be terminated when the withdrawal agreement has been ratified, which was my key request of my fellow leaders. For example, this means that if we're able to pass a deal in the first three weeks of May, we will not have to take part in European elections and will officially leave the EU on Saturday, the 1st of June. During the course of the extension, the European Council is clear that the UK will continue to hold full membership rights as well as its obligations. As I said in the room tonight, there is only a single tier of EU membership with no conditionality attached beyond existing treaty obligations. Let me conclude by saying this. I know that there is huge frustration from many people that I had to request this extension. The UK should have left the EU by now, and I sincerely regret the fact that I have not yet been able to persuade Parliament to approve a deal which would allow the UK to leave in a smooth and orderly way. But the choices we now face are stark and the timetable is clear. So we must now press on at pace with our efforts to reach a consensus on a deal that is in the national interest. Tomorrow I will be making a statement to the House of Commons. Further talks will also take place between the government and the opposition to seek a way forward. I do not pretend that the next few weeks will be easy or there is a simple way to break the deadlock in Parliament. But we have a duty as politicians to find a way to fulfil the democratic decision of the referendum deliver Brexit and move our country forward. Nothing is more pressing or more vital. I'll take a few questions, Laura. Um, thank you, Prime Minister. Um, BBC News, you, you said just a few days ago, as Prime Minister, I could not consider a delay further beyond the 30th of June, except that is exactly what you have agreed here in the early hours. You know many people are going to be very furious about another pause to Brexit, but why should people consider that you are still the person to preside over this? Well, uh, look, the, what we have agreed tonight means that we can actually leave the European Union before the 30th of June. Uh, what we need is to ensure that we have an agreement in Parliament that we can get through and get the uh, uh, necessary legislation ratified to enable us to leave. I want us to leave the EU with, an order, with a deal so it's an orderly exit as soon as possible. This decision enables us to do that. Beth. Thank you. Uh, Beth Rigby, Sky News. Prime Minister, yesterday 177 of your party refused to support your extension plan when it ran to June the 30th, let alone October the 31st. How can you still in good conscience remain the leader of the Conservative Party after agreeing this extension tonight? What I'm working to do is to ensure that as a government, a Conservative Party in government, we deliver on the result of the referendum, that we deliver Brexit for the people of the United Kingdom. What this extension enables us to do is to go through the process that we've set up to enable Parliament to come to a majority opinion on the way forward so that we can get that deal ratified and leave the European Union. And I want to do that as soon as possible. If we're able to do that before the 22nd of May, then we don't have to hold those European parliamentary elections. Anybody else? Uh, Jason? Jason goes from the Daily Mail. Prime Minister, I mean, you talk about us being able to leave before the 30th of June. We, we could have left in 48 hours. You, you, you promised we were going to leave in March. You promised we were going to leave in April. Now you're saying we might leave by Halloween. I mean, don't you feel you owe the country an apology? Over the last three months, I have voted three times to leave the European Union. Uh, if sufficient members of Parliament had voted with me in January, we would already be out of the European Union. Uh, we haven't been able to get that majority in Parliament. As you know, I have now been uh, reaching out to find a way in which we can get an agreement that will command a majority across uh, the House of Commons to ensure that we can uh, put the legislation through, we can ratify the withdrawal agreement, have the withdrawal agreement bill uh, through the House of Commons and the House of Lords so that we can ratify this agreement and leave the European Union. I want to do that as soon as possible. That's what I'm going to continue to work for. George. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, George Parker from the Financial Times. A, a very quick question. Can the deadline of October the 31st be extended again? I think Donald has suggested it could be. And a more specific question. You said there's only a single tier of EU membership. What were the kind of conditions that the other member states wanted to attach to our continued membership? Well, as you all have seen from the decision that has come out of the uh, Council tonight, it's very clear that we will continue to abide by our obligations. And as I wrote in my letter to Donald Tusk uh, last week, uh, that we will continue to abide by our duty of sincere cooperation as members of the European Union. Uh, the Council and the agreement that we've come to tonight is for that extension to the 31st of October. As I say, I'm clear that we should all be working now in the UK to make sure that we can find a way forward in Parliament, we can get a majority in Parliament to ratify the withdrawal agreement and ensure that we can leave as soon as possible. Paul. Paul Brandon from ITV News. Prime Minister, first we were leaving on the 29th of March, then it was the 22nd of May. Now it could be Halloween. Do you think your party back home will consider this a trick or a treat? Oh. What I say is that we could have left on the 29th of March, we could be out of the European Union now, if Parliament had agreed that with, had, uh, had a majority in Parliament to agree that withdrawal agreement. Uh, I had hoped that uh, Parliament would agree to ratify the withdrawal agreement such that we could have left on the 22nd of May. Uh, if we can now find an agreement in Parliament and put the legislation through in time, we could still leave on the 22nd of May and not hold those European parliamentary elections. What we must all be working for is to find a way that we can get a majority majority in Parliament so that we can leave the European Union, deliver on the referendum and do it as soon as possible. Uh, Pippa? Yes, sorry, I was looking. <laughs> Pippa Carrera from the Daily Mirror. Um, Prime Minister, Donald Tusk suggested that we could keep on coming back and asking for extensions. What confidence can you give the British people and your own party that Brexit will ever actually happen? Well, I'm very clear that we must deliver as a government on Brexit. We gave, that Parliament gave the referendum, uh, the choice to people in the referendum. The government said that we would abide by the decision that the British people took. It is now our duty to deliver on that decision. Uh, we could already have left the European Union. Uh, what I want to do now is to work to ensure that we get that majority in Parliament such that we can ratify this agreement, leave the European Union, do it in an orderly way, with a deal, and do it as soon as possible. Thank you.